Finally back. Good to be back. What's up, man? Has it been? It's been a while. I haven't been on the bike for quite some time. But it feels good. It's nice. It's like 45 now. Not too bad. 45 degrees. Out on the good old two wheels. Shredding up the streets. Feels good, man. Uh, I think tomorrow is supposed to be like, damn, it's windy out. Tomorrow is supposed to be like, close to how hot it is now. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if the single tracks or if the dirt's gonna be good. But it should be. The week was like 30. Yo, look at that car on the cow. I mean, on the horse. Dude's killing it on the horse. I need to get me a horse. A horse would be nice right now. I got a couple horses though. This guy's texting, yo, sending a nice text. <laughs> that shit is funny. That shit is fucking funny. safety tips while riding. That dude had a big ass hat. If you're riding and you can't see in front of you, like a couple cars in front of you, go to a safe place where you can see the cars. A lot of people ride on the left side of the lane. I ride left side, cycle cruises set the right side. I switch it up because I always try to get the best view on any type of situation. See this car here? I don't know if they see me. I'll slow down. Just so that I know if anything does happen, I'll be able to stop in time. So that if they do pull out, they don't see me. At least I'll be able to uh, avoid them or make an emergency stop to not get hit by them. These people are all in the middle of the road. Don't know what they're doing. She didn't look happy at all. But like, your main objective when riding is to think about what the people ahead of you are going to be doing. If you can think of any wrong possibility when it comes to riding and imagine it happening and being ready for it when it does happen, then you're going to be a safe rider. And that's the truth. If you feel like someone's going to be stopping ahead of you, all you have to do is think about it, be ready for it so that when it happens you don't panic. And you'll be able to, you know, stay safe, at least with all these crazy cars on the road. This guy's running funny. This is, see, like, I just, I see all this stuff happening. I look behind me. Let me make sure that no one's coming up behind me to hit me in the back. You have to think of, like, a thousand things. If you want to be on a bike, you got to always have your, your head moving, you know? If you're not thinking about other people and what they're doing and how they're holding their life in your hands, you're asking for trouble because no one else is going to worry about you unless, except for yourself. I've seen too many helmets nailed onto trees and fucking bike vests left on you know the sides. I've seen too many of them to know the realities. Intersections, slow down always at intersections. In case there's some stupid fuck trying to go and end your life. Intersections are the worst part. That's where most of the accidents happen when you're on a bike. They happen at the intersection. Every time when I come to a light, I always, always, always hit my brakes a bunch of times. This guy got a cool ass mustache and a beard. He looks fucking cool. Look, he got a hat, it's from the Gap. He's got long hair. That dude's living a life. 
it's always about watching other people. I never follow too closely behind cars, especially if I'm getting any sort of speed. Because I know the second the second I go to uh, get too close and I go to stop, I know that's when they're going to stop as well. And I don't want to be left dead on the road, even though I, you know, yeah, I don't want to be left on the fucking road, dead. But, uh, it's always about visibility. That's what I would say is the most important thing when, uh, when riding. If you're out and you're looking and you see, oh, there's no cars over there. There's cars here. This guy's here. How can I stop this here? This guy just dropped ice. I'm far away enough to not hit it. It's all about the visibility. If you can see, you're good. This shit is fucking hard as hell to see. And, of course, this guy's all over the fucking road, so I can't even get a good view on it. But as long as you stay visible, you can pretty much predict what's going to happen. But always, always know that even if you try to predict what's going to happen, you're not always going to get it every time. And you have, to, you have to be weary of that. You have to know, like, the unpredictable can and it will happen. It's just a matter of you being prepared when it does happen. And if that person comes out, they're looking right at you in the face. They're looking right at you and they'll still pull out right in front of you. That you gotta be wary of. Just because they're looking at you, it doesn't mean that they see you. They could be looking right past you and it may look like they're looking at you. So you gotta be weary as if they didn't even look at you. Speed plays a big part in a lot of the accidents too that I've read. If you're speeding, you have a, a pretty high chance of getting into an accident and being injured. Because this ain't no car. You don't have that big cage around you. This is just a little ass motor dirt scooter. That's what mine is at least. It's a little dirt scooter. Also, a pretty important thing before you go ride, check everything on your bike. Check the brakes. Make sure the brake fluid is good. Check the nuts on the bolts all over the bike make sure that everything's in working order so that nothing goes wrong on your ride I just recently had a, a bolt actually break in half that was connected to my rear brake it held the actual brake mechanism the brake uh, master cylinder the rear one it held it on so when I was slamming on the brakes the thing would go all the way to the bottom and I wouldn't know why but when I pulled over, I discovered that the brake thing was done, that it had broke off, and I probably could have prevented it. Maybe it was coming out a little bit or something like that, and I could have easily prevented it. That's a serious bump. But instead, it fell off, and then I was out on the street with no rear brake. All I had was the front brake, which a lot of the brake does come from the front, but if you, combina if you combo the front and the back brake, you'll get the best braking performance. Good thing I was close to home. I was just going, to, I had adjusted the rear suspension. I was just going to test it out. It's a good thing I was close to home. But I mean, if I wasn't, that would have been bad. So make sure you also check the brakes and all the nuts and bolts and stuff like that so that if anything does come down, see like I looked over to the left, I see this person making a left. These people are making right. I go nice and slow through here. I go nice where I'm visible so that nothing bad happens. That's how you gotta think. You gotta think that the worst things are gonna happen. In my opinion, at least. That's how I, that's how I ride. I ride as if, you know, it's kinda like a gun. If you're ever holding a gun, the gun is always loaded, even if it's not. That's how I think of it. Look, this shit, a fucking just cut off from the ocean. This is like a bay. Look at this shit. It's fucking frozen. There's like a little drone over there flying in the fucking air. I don't know if you guys can see the camera. Holy shit. This shit. I've never seen this shit frozen before. Anyone wants to commit suicide over here, man. They're fucked. They ain't gonna be able to do that shit. Holy fuck, man. I can't believe that this shit is fucking frozen. Holy 
shit, I've never seen that before in my life. That is fucking awesome. Over on, I think it's, I think it's that side, over that way is, the, is New York City. I don't like these things. Okay, we're off there. But yeah, holy shit, I've never seen this shit frozen. That's fucking awesome. Look, there's birds chilling on it and shit. It is so cool. Oh, there we go. Now it's not frozen. There's little fucking Titanic icebergs floating around. This fucking bridge is probably frozen as shit. That's fucking awesome. I've never seen that shit before. And holy fuck, is the fucking shit cold. I'm freezing right now. I'm going to this fucking middle of it, yo. Where's my bottle? Yeah, I fucking... This shit is cold, man. What's up? Why are you looking at me like that, yo? I'm just a man trying to fucking... Ride a fucking slow-ass motorcycle on a fucking fast-ass lane on a fucking frozen-ass day. Damn, bro, I can't believe that shit is frozen. I've never seen that before in my life. This is all Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy fucked this whole thing up. This is a, that's a road. That's a fucking road and Hurricane Sandy didn't work on it. Just gotta wanna go, okay. That's, that used to be a boardwalk right there. All that shit used to be a boardwalk. And buildings too. There used to be buildings there too. Arcades and all that fun stuff. Now it's nothing. That's crazy. 